with the radically divisive eFootball signaling in the new culture for the virtual representation of football gaming. We've come to know for some time now the offline experience wasn't going to take precedence forever. While the online audience will happily embrace a new football game taking this new direction, those who prefer their offline immersion have felt left behind. That there is no longer a serious traditional real world football game left for them to look forward to this time of year. While PES has never been the most authentic or aesthetically immersive regarding the sights and sounds of world football out of the box, the PC modding community have served the fans of football almost as long as Konami has served the base game. Thanks to some of the most breathtaking, imaginative feats of engineering from our determined creators and hobbyist modders, we are able to accurately embody the look and feel of real world football in a game unlike ever before. We are able to give the final Fox Engine football game a fresh lick of paint and rejuvenate our PES 2021 experience, making it not only look but also feel like an entirely new game thanks to the gift of the PC modding community. This is how PES lives on as a football library of the real sport. This is how to make the real PES 2022. Before we begin, it's important to note this isn't a tutorial video. There are plenty of those already on YouTube, as well as instructions for how to install these mods in their links. The purpose of this video is more of a showcase of the unlimited potential modding this game has. So, if you're not playing on PC, then, well, you're out of luck. The first thing you will need before you embark on your modding odyssey is your base game patch. Patches in the PES editing community refer to the all-in-one compilations of files that at a minimum fix team and player names, kits, badges and at the maximum serve as total conversion projects. There are many excellent patches available, but for me the most convenient is the Virtua Red patch, which includes virtually, no pen intended, almost every essential mod right out of the box and the installation is simple. Its list of features is exhaustive and includes the usual kits, boots, gloves, balls and insignia but also adds additional teams and leagues such as the Bundesliga, Japan's J League, Liga Mexico, Liga 1 from Peru as well as 50 additional clubs to Europe and South America, as well as PES legend lineups too. It also includes national anthems for the international teams, 70 new Master League managers to complement Durandil's outstanding immersion mods for the Master League, which adds more than 250 new cutscenes, new environments, animations in the news menu and for coaches as well as cutscenes for matches and camera angles for celebrations. It also features a comprehensive scoreboard server that not only covers just about every major league and competition, but also alternative versions to each corresponding league and broadcast package. There are Sky Sports, ESPN, BEIN, DAZN variations that can be selected manually or randomly depending on the domestic fixture of choice. The famous kit server returns and also allows us to not only mix up kit colour combinations but also accurately reflects the appropriate domestic or European competition too, which means champions or Europa League fonts, numbers and sleeve badges appear accordingly. The entrances and anthems also reflect their appropriate settings, not just in Champions League but also Copa Libertadores, Euro, Copa America and World Cup fixtures, even the substitution boards are authentically recreated. One of the biggest appeals of playing PES on the PC 
is the limitless and ever-expanding library of stadiums for almost every team in the game. From the iconic, yet inexplicably absent from the base game, the stadium server features grounds such as Anfield, Signal Iduna Park, San Siro and the Bernabeu. To those that need no introduction, such as the Parc des Princes, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, the Olympia Stadion in Berlin, the Lushniki Stadium, and even the intimate and obscure. Even the sacred pre-match tunnel rituals are immortalized in the game, making every pre-match preamble an unmissable event. In the interest of further recreating the broadcast experience, each stadium has its own exclusive camera positioning, emulating the authentic presentation of a real-life broadcast from a specific ground. As you may know, teams like Real Madrid, Chelsea and Bayern Munich have a low and intimate zoomed-in camera, bringing us viewers close to the action as possible. while Barcelona, Atletico and Manchester City tend to opt for the wider stadium views, giving the viewers a greater sense of screen space. And if they don't take your fancy, they can even be customised to your liking to give you the most unprecedented and unorthodox camera angles ever seen. Feel free to experiment. The turfs are overhauled too thanks to a collection of pitch mods from various creators such as Endo and Makidan14 to name a couple. The art asset that takes up 90% of your screen space is tragically overlooked by Konami by default. However, it's painstakingly redesigned and recreated to accurately reflect the eye-pleasing modern state-of-the-art pitches of football. The stadium's lighting is overhauled too, thanks not only to Moiduran 2, Endo and Captain Blunt's beautiful natural sunlight mod which is courteously installed in most stadiums with the Virtua Red configurations, or even Jeremiah Sober's realistic day lighting and fog add-ons which featured in some of my previous PES 2021 tournaments, but also thanks to the additional Ultimate Atmosphere mod by Urban Hack 86 which completely overhauls the game's color correction, shaders, grass model, rain effects and many more subtle texture and lighting tweaks that may seem insignificant at face value, but once the game is in motion it almost gives the title a whole new look which is welcomed after two years of looking at the same visuals since 2020. Whilst we wait for the aforementioned Virtua Red Patch to update its content to reflect the 21-22 season, we can still take matters into our own hands and manually add our own updated kits, balls and faces individually from across the modding community. For some, it's part of the ritual to have a daily browse through the forums to see what creators have come up with next. Whether Hawk lets us play with his balls, or BM and Adrian90 birth some stunning new kits, or even the unlimited variety of constantly updated player faces to reflect the weekend's fashion and grooming decisions from players, the talented artists of the modding community have you covered, even down to their body art, immortalizing the most accurate depictions of our favorite players. Thanks to the tireless work of Preds, who collected hundreds of chant audio from dozens of creators over the years, the audio, match day ambience in the form of crowd chants, gets a huge revamp. The flat, underwhelming sounds of Konami's match day atmosphere are no more. Match days truly come to life thanks to fantastically mixed chanting from fans 
stadium drums and general exposition that truly proves that great sound alone can even drastically enhance an experience. Fred's contributions don't just end there, no no no. He's also amassed a wealth of mesmerizing animated digital ad boards for all the major leagues and tournaments in the game. Be warned though, it's easy to get distracted from your on-field obligations as you're too busy watching the attention grabbing and almost hypnotic animations play out and get excited about what advert will roll next. Commercialism certainly doing its job. Thanks to the reverse engineering of Durandil, we now have five net shapes to choose from. From the sagging roof, more akin to PES 2008 to 2011, to the more continental triangle net scene across the Americas. Net fetishists certainly are a subject of light banter and ridicule, but one cannot deny, it's another small detail that allows us to feel like every match is truly in a unique location in a different part of the world. If you ever find the pre-match hub animations a bit stale, we can also change these too, from static to something a little more enthusiastic. Why stop at the match screen? We can even freshen up our editing suite with new poses while we admire the work of our kit and face makers from a new perspective. One of the guilty pleasures of a new football game is sampling a new menu. Perhaps you'd like to honour the crooked direction the series is going in with this bootleg eFootball menu, complete with its authentically ghastly font. Or if you'd rather something that isn't a blue and yellow attack on the senses, there are these very classy PES 2022 menus to choose from instead. Finally, you may ask. All these features certainly make the game look and sound nicer, but what if I didn't enjoy the gameplay? Why would I want to play the exact same game for the third year straight? Well, thanks to the likes of Holland, New Pop, Incus, Joss Dyke and many more, there is an endless supply of gameplay mods that tweak, enhance and improve the gameplay in a variety of fashions. It's important to note that while these won't drastically overhaul the game engine and feel like a brand new game, they do drastically enhance certain nuances and remove other niggles within reason. This can be in areas such as responsiveness when dribbling and turning, more reliable cursor switching, ball physics, better AI, and toning down some of the toxic scripting from the com. Gameplay is subjective, and everybody has a different interpretation of how a football game should feel. But once again, thanks to the vast amount of choice, there should at least be something for everyone. So that completes our roundup of the most essential and complementary mods that turn PES 2021 into not only the spiritual PES 2022, but also the ultimate football simulator in terms of sights, sounds and immersion. For 15 years, PES 6 was the holy grail survived by the modding community year on year discovering new ways to innovate, and with PES 2021 now marking the final traditional offline experience in the series, the talented community will keep this game alive for many years too.